Joshua's challenge reminds us that there's really only one choice that matters for eternity. If you don't want to serve the Lord, choose for yourself this day whom you will serve, he says. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As much as we'd like to pull the covers up over our head and block it all out, people of faith must make wise choices. Focus on God's blessings. Speak up for what's right, even if you're in the minority. Follow God's lead instead of your fears. Don't let getting your way replace obedience. Ask yourself, is God pleased with me? Intercede for others, even when they oppose you, and choose who you will serve instead of letting others choose for you. Let's bow together in prayer. Father, give us the courage to make godly choices. Give us the courage we need to accept responsibility for our own choices to live for you. May we be led by our faith and not by the mob's hysteria. Convict our heart to pray for those who lead us and oppose us. And ultimately, Father, may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. If you want to talk about more in your relationship with God, why not reach out to us at marysvillechristian.org.